and everything in this room was discovered in their tomb. This is the sarcophagus of Queen Amos Meritium, discovered in 1929, and all these baskets, jars, etc., were all found in her sarcophagus. But this is only the internal sarcophagus, the outer one was actually destroyed by grave robbers. These are all the items that are found. The servants that will go to the afterlife, jars for the poor organs, and all of the utensils, including the funeral flowers that are 3,000 years old. And we've got the head of Anubis, potentially worn by a priest, and then we have a a falcon with its own coffin as well, and it was uh, mummified. This is the map or schematic of Yuya and Tuya's tomb that was discovered in 1905. It, uh, as you can see on the right there, that was Yuya's coffin, which is the man. He had the outer coffin, an inner coffin, another coffin, and then the most inner portion where he was inside is all um, fully gold. And everything in this room was discovered in their tomb. Yuya and Tuya, significant figures in ancient Egypt's 18th dynasty, including a visor and the mother of the Queen Tai. There's a chariot that was in the, in the tomb as well. These jars contained alcohol in them, specifically beer, which they could take into the afterlife. The well-preserved tomb in the Valley of the Kings provided valuable historical insights and their family ties with the royals. The tomb of Yuya and Tuya contained a wealth of well-preserved artefacts offering insights into ancient Egyptian culture and affluence. This is the mummy of Yuya, the male, or otherwise known as Yosef, which some people believe might be Joseph originally from the Bible. This is the longest, the correction, the second longest papyrus paper in the world. It's called the Book of the Dead and it's 20 metres long. It has a story of Yuya and Tuya and ends just here. And this is the two sarcophaguses that they were found in. This one is Yuya's and this one is two years, and there's Shigane. Local game that was played by the Egyptians, in particular the king. This one's a small travel game, same as the larger one there. And then they have like uh, the knuckles or jacks that they used to use for a game. A royal chair with all the inscriptions made out of cedar, ebony and ivory and a picture of all the slaves that they used to step on to get onto the chair. Another chair, 25 kilos worth of gold. This cupboard or had the four jars of Tutankhamun's organs inside and it was uh, to protect them for the afterlife. The Egyptian Museum in Cairo is a renowned institution with a vast collection of ancient Egyptian artefacts. 
Established in 1902, it boasts over 120,000 items. Among its most famous exhibits are the treasures from King Tutankhamun's tomb, including his iconic golden mask. The museum also houses a captivating collection of mummies, statues and jewellery, some remarkably well preserved, offering an intimate connection into Egypt's ancient past. In addition to these highlights, the Egyptian Museum features an extensive array of statues, papyrus scrolls, tools and everyday objects from different periods of Egyptian history. This museum is a window into Egypt's history, covering a wide span from ancient times to the pharaoh's era. It remains a must-visit destination for those seeking to immerse themselves in the wonders of ancient Egypt. We're on the bus. This is our last day in Cairo. We have been to the Egyptian Museum and now we're off to the mosque and we have a police escort. High. This is the central court of Muhammad Ali Mosque. And if you come down here, and we can look out here onto the city. This is Muhammad Ali's um, burial area, and he's actually inside there. Here's Sharon, trying to get a good photo as we look out over Cairo. Just behind that crane, you might be able to see the silhouette of both. We just arrived at the Church of the Virgin Mary, or otherwise known as the Hanging Church. The Hanging Church in Cairo, also known as St. Virgin Mary's Coptic Orthodox Church, is a historically significant site and an iconic representation of Coptic Christian history. Dating back to the 7th century, it is renowned for its well-preserved interior, featuring intricate wooden screens, decorated icons and marble columns. The church is named for its location suspended over an ancient Roman fortress gate, and is traditionally believed to be one of the places where Jesus, Mary and Joseph sought refuge during their flight into Egypt. This association adds to its religious and cultural significance, making it a vital site for Coptic Christians. We're at the bazaar. Here's Sharon shopping for a bargain, looking at jewellery. Please, all the time, let's clap our hands for our driver, please. Yay. Yay. 